This is day three, Jungle Journey Science, Skin Deep. And this lab had to do with the fact that when the floodwaters receded, God had told the people, the eight that got off the ark, to scatter and repopulate the earth. And they did not do that. So they did repopulate, but they did not scatter. So in order to make them scatter, then we had the whole situation at Babel where God confused the languages so that they would have to. And depending on the people groups that went to these different areas, they would have different genetic um, properties, different pigmentations in their skins. So that's why we tend to see the people that lived in the really hot climates with a lot of sun have the darker pigmentation. People that moved to where it was cold and not very bright um, direct sun would have the lighter skin. So this represented the different pigmentation that people could have. And you can see how if you mix different pigments together, you can get different colors. So all we did for this was we took cellophane, colored cellophane. I found that using a rotary cutter worked really well for this and a straight edge. And we just cut these, these rectangles of these different colors. You know, any colors, you can really use anything that you have. I tried to stick with pretty much skin tone sort of colors. Um, and then the kids would just take these and hold them up to the light and look through and see how their colors could change depending on the pigmentation. So that's day three, skin deep. This is day three, Jungle Journey Science Tower Test. Now in this experiment, rather than having the kids learn a little lesson and then experiment, we started backwards. So our instructions were, I will give you 90 seconds to build a tower. Everyone step back, make sure you don't bump the table, and everyone's gonna build a tower. And so we let them build for 90 seconds. Then what happens is some are going to build a very secure structure with a large base, like a ziggurat is built. But we're counting on some kids just trying to get their tower as high as they can. So just building up, up, up. And what we do then is after the 90 seconds is over, we come by all the tables and we bump the tables and we see whose tower stayed. Then we teach them a little bit about the ziggurats and what we believe is um, the remains of the Tower of Babel that has been uncovered and how that would be a much more secure structure. So then we give them time to build again and now they're gonna build with a nice strong base and then each level getting a little bit um, smaller on top of that. Uh, what we did for this experiment was to sort out our blocks that we had bought that all came mixed colors. We sorted them out into separate colors so none of the kids had the same color as the person beside them so that when the towers did fall they knew which bricks were theirs, which blocks were theirs. So that is tower test.